I am with the one and only Arnold Schwarzenegger, my dad and I's biggest uh, idol growing up, and we're in the kitchen here. We've been having an amazing conversation, talking about stuff we can't share, but let's talk about Total Recall. I have it recommended in my top best books. So Good taste. Good taste? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the first thing I would say about the book is, we were just talking about this. What do you think, do you think it was important your upbringing to reprogram your mind? Because in the beginning chapters, you talk about how your dad made you work out before you ate. Well, it was all about, you know, being useful. Uh, he also felt that you should earn your breakfast. So he had me go and do push-ups and to do sit-ups and knee bends and all kinds of things. Or he would just send me down to the basement and to chop wood for half an hour. And then he says, okay, now you can come up and have your stirts which is kind of like as a breakfast dish that they, they serve in Austria and some, you know, hot chocolate or whatever I had in those days. Uh, and then we went, would go to school. So, I mean, you earn your breakfast. So I think all of this stays with you for the rest of your life. Because so many people procrastinate you. You don't seem to have a problem with procrastinating. No, I don't procrastinate because I see a very clear vision of certain things, a certain goal, and then I go after it because you snooze, you lose. Right. So to me, there's no such thing as like, you know, I like to take a vacation and I like to go and rest and all those kind of things. But when I'm on a mission and when I go after something, I go after it with vengeance. I mean, there's no stopping. Yeah. Now, number two, three points. So number one, your, your upbringing. Number two, and we talked about this a little earlier. How, what is the secret for somebody watching? Because all throughout the book, you thought bigger than everybody else. When it was bodybuilding, you were saying you didn't just try to become Mr. Austria, you want to be Mr. Olympia. When it came to movies, you didn't just want to be in a movie, you wanted to be the biggest, highest grossing movie star of all time. What can somebody do watching to overcome fear, the fear of thinking big? Most people are just too afraid to think big. Well, the reason why I was never really afraid of thinking big was because, I mean, how far can you fall? I mean, it's six feet down is the ground, so then you get up again if you fall and you can start all over again. So that's number one, so I'm not afraid of failing. Uh, number two, I think in bodybuilding, with the age of 20, I became Mr. Universe. I, I accomplished my goals. I knew that through hard work and the various different rules that I applied to become the world champion and having a very clear vision that I'm gonna be that world champion, just like Reg Park, that was important to me. So when I did that, I realized that you can do this with anything. It takes just as much effort. It doesn't take any more effort. You just have to believe in yourself. And you have to believe 100% on your goal. And then it becomes such a pleasure to work to that goal, no matter how big the struggle is, because you know that every struggle and every effort you put in takes you one step closer accomplishing that goal. That's amazing. Now, number three, my biggest takeaway from the book was reps and sets, repetitions. So many people want to do big things, but they're not willing to put in that repetition, like, you know, obviously lifting weights. But how do you apply repetitions to other things you did, like, you talk about things. What, what were some specific techniques? Well, let me just give you an example. I mean, you know, in bodybuilding and in lifting and in sports, you learn about the reps. That the more often you do something, the better you get. So the same is also with the scene. If I study for a scene in a movie, then I do a, a rehearsal, not just three times. I do it 20, 30, 40 times that scene. So when I get to the set, I know the dialogue and I then can move around freely and just be at the character rather than having to worry about the dialogue and the sentence and the way it is structured and all those kind of things. So it's reps. And the same thing is with everything else. Look, in skiing, the more you ski, the better you get in skiing. Uh, the more you play the piano, look at these little girls that you see sometimes on stage, they practice seven hours a day piano. Yeah. I mean, it's reps. It's yeah. reps, reps, reps. That's why I said to people, I said, the key thing is and one of the rules of success is to work your ass off. Reps, 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 there is no shortcut. Forget about the shortcuts, just work your ass off and then you will accomplish something. It's amazing. Now last bonus little point for somebody watching. You talk about this in the book. Daily routine. It's important that people have a good daily routine. What's a rough outline without getting into everything that you think a routine, and you talk about this in the book, Total Recall, a routine people can emulate that you kind of pioneered. Well, I, I just uh, I have a simple routine. I get up early in the morning, 
uh, I believe what Ted Turner said, early to bed, early to rise, work like hell, and advertise. And so this is what I believe in. So I go uh, to bed early, it's around 10 o'clock, then I wake up at 4 o'clock in the morning, uh, which is six hours of sleep, that's all you need. And if you need more, then just sleep a little faster. And then uh, I just get going, you know, I mean, then I read. Yeah, I, I read the newspaper, I read uh, articles, I go on the internet and I read. Uh, and then by the time comes six o'clock, I get on my bike, I ride down to the gym, I work out for an hour, then I ride back again, have my breakfast. So this is a routine just to get the day going before I ever go to the office or before I start some serious work. So it's a routine. An empty, you like the empty, empty stomach workout? You know? Yeah, because I mean, I, I have enough fat on my body, <laughs> trust me. You uh, I'm, not one of, I'm not one of those 5% body fat kind of a guys. I'm the 15% body fat kind of a guy. So therefore, I have enough fat that I will survive a one-hour workout and a one-hour <laughs> bike ride. I know that for sure. So far, I've never fallen off you the bike and never worried about that. Well, you're a mentor to millions of people, and you told me you think mentors is one of the most important things. Well, mentors is extremely important, and we talked earlier about reading books. I mean, it is great to read about great people, about great presidents, about great athletes, about great business leaders and so on, because you can learn and you can emulate and you can shoot for the same kind of course because you know it has been already done, so therefore why not do it the same thing again? And then maybe go even beyond that. So I think that motivations and having uh, idols, uh, you know, I mean, to me, having like someone like Nelson Mandela, that is a great idol of mine uh, about forgiveness and about bringing people together. I mean, who is a better teacher than him? Yeah. Or the, the courage of, a, an, a, you know, uh, Gorbachev, for instance, the guy that grew up under communism yeah. and then dismantled communism when he was on the top, yeah. when he was president because he realized it didn't work. Yeah. How great is that? How much balls does it take to do something like that? So to me, I admire people like that. Or Ronald Reagan, who was a conservative, but he was able to work with Democrats and Republicans in order to get things done. He brought people together. I admire that. So those are the kind of idols that I have. Or oh, yesterday we put to rest uh, Muhammad Ali. So mm. I was there at the funeral. Wow. He was an idol of mine because he was not only the greatest in the ring, but he was the greatest also with the greatest heart who yeah. was always giving, 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 because he believed that, that we're going to be judged not by how much we make, but by how much we give. So let's give something back. So that's a great lesson for the rest of the world. So these are idols of mine. Yeah, well, you're an idol. I did, I have a TEDx talk. It's one of the top 15, and I named you as the top five mentors. So I appreciate this kitchen talk, and this was amazing. My dad, would have, my dad was a pro bodybuilder. If he knew I was here, my dad would have a heart attack, but... Thank you so much. Absolutely. That was amazing. Now go out. I'm telling you this. People know me for having the biggest book club in the world. Top 10 books. Arnold Schwarzenegger wrote a book. It's called Total Recall. It's his autobiography from start to finish. I'm not being paid to recommend this book. I am telling you, it is one of the great ones out there. So click the link. I'll put a link straight to Amazon. Please buy it. Hasta la vista.